G'day there. Is it a contest? Well, it's sort of a contest, isn't it? I mean, who's winning this thing? If it's a contest, who's winning this thing? Well, Iceland has tested more than anyone, apparently, as in a percentage of their population. What they found is exciting and yet worrying. Large numbers who tested positive showed no signs of having the virus at all, which means most countries, including ours, who don't test unless you seem like you're ill, may never know what we actually have been dealing with. And more importantly, you can argue the lockdown is a waste of time, can't you? Given we may have huge numbers of people who aren't remotely ill and yet passing the virus on. Norway claims they've got it under control, so they've got to be winning, don't they? Parts of Scandinavia, they're starting to reopen businesses this week. The Czech Republic have hardware stores open, you can go swimming now. Austria is largely open this week, and Norway, the kindies are back open this week as well. Australia, on a patience per million scale, is outperforming us, not by much, but a bit. Their advantage, though, is their economy has remained more active than ours, thus leading to the possibility the economic carnage won't be as great or indeed as long term. Now, there's no doubt our numbers look superb, but the overarching question remains, at what cost? Sweden is still a work in progress. The numbers are hardly alarming. They're not as good as they, well, say ours. But given they've barely locked the place down at all, you can mount a pretty solid argument. I would have thought that their approach may well yet prove to be a winning combination. The careful line, the very careful line between stopping a virus but not killing your economy in the process, that's the magic to all of this. What's interesting about, say, Norway is they have over 6,000 cases and 119 deaths, and they have basically the same population as us. So who's beating who? I mean, our numbers win by a large margin, of course, but they claim they've cracked it. We are making no such claim. Why not? We must be close to declaring victory, surely. Borders are closed, clusters are largely contained, the numbers are only heading one way. What's holding us back, for goodness sake? The answer is in their almost unique obsession with elimination. But what's elimination? Has anyone asked that question? Zero? And if they ever get to zero, do they know that they're at zero? given the Iceland testing, or if they reach zero, open the cafes and it suddenly goes back to 100, then what? My fear is we got obsessed by this, made it all about health and nothing else. No one else has got that extreme, bar the Chinese, of course, who I think we can all agree mostly made up their story anyway. So we are the global outliers, trying something no one else has, looking at least in the health part, very successful indeed, but maybe ultimately in focusing too much on one aspect of a much bigger picture, we'll end up winning the battle but losing the war.